Dependable. Unstoppable. Yes, tough, dependable, unstoppable. Just like me. This is an unusual model. It's an Ashok Leyland mining truck. And Ashok Leyland are an Indian company. The truck name is Captain, and the model is made by Sunray's Classic Models of China. And it's big, it's in 1 to 24 scale. The box is nice because it's got a carry handle, so you can walk down the street whistling a happy tune as you carry your model. Inside the box things are pretty much what you would come to expect, and that's a pair of expanded polystyrene trays. They are factory sealed, so it's a chance to get the knife out and cut the tape. And then we can lift the lid and get a look at something that's going to be unusual. And there we can see some soft paper protecting the model. And if we take that off, we can see that this is a big truck model. Time to lift it out and the only other thing that's included is a plastic pointer. And there is no assembly to do because it is complete out of the box. There's a nicely detailed gearbox and engine oil sump. And going to the back, the transmission is nicely modelled too. Various parts underneath the model are plastic, including the fuel tank, but it's not metal on the real truck either. There are plenty of mud flaps and they're made of stiff but flexible plastic. The cab doors have got Captain written on them and there's a nice door handle. Behind the cab, the exhaust is plastic, but it looks good. And various other components are detailed also. The wheels are also nicely detailed. At the front, the Ashok Leyland name is nicely presented in relief, and the lights are very good, although they don't have mesh guards. Detailing inside the cab is excellent, and that includes the inside of the doors. And if you look close up at the driver's console, you can see that all of the gauges are realistically modelled. At the back of the truck, there is protection on the rear lights, and the Ashok Leyland name is nicely presented on the rear mud flaps. The inside of the dump body has got some nice structure, and it's all metal. And the strong chassis of the real truck is also replicated with good detailing, and that includes the leaf spring suspension. At the front of the dump body there is detailing including wheel chocks, and the lift round piston is two stage. Another very nice aspect is the detailing of the structure underneath the dump body. Once again we've got the captain on his back, and we're spinning his wheels. There is link steering of the front two axles with a fair range of movement, although you would like a bit more. But there's a nice interesting little addition, and you can see that the steering is linked to the front and actually connects to the steering wheel. A very nice feature on the model is the working suspension and that applies to the front axles. And it's also nice that there is some suspension on the rear axles. So the big scale of this model has allowed some nice functionality. Out we go onto the Cranes Etc test track, and the captain rolls along very smoothly. But let's see if the captain is one for turning, and if we set the steering the captain can turn through a reasonable curve. The angle does mean that the captain is not one for doing a quick U-turn. Let's now test out the suspension, and it's not too soft, so that's pretty good for a mining truck. We've already had a peek inside the cab, but let's see the cab doors open, and that's where you use the pointer. And the door hinges are very nice. The other thing we can do is to tilt the cab. And that works very smoothly, because it has a small hydraulic ram inside. Under the cab is a detailed plastic engine. Sometimes it's the small things which are pleasing, and that includes the steps for the cab, which are nicely jointed. Of course this is a mining tipper truck so we need to see it tipping, and the two stage cylinder works well with a good degree of stiffness. The tipping angle seems quite good but I would imagine the real truck can tip to a steeper angle. And the other thing we need to do is to load this mining truck up. So this gives us a chance to use the giant hand mining shovel.
This is a big model, so let's firstly compare it to a normal sized 1 to 50 scale tipper. And it would absolutely flatten it. If we put the tape on it and allow for the overhang at the front, it's around 16 inches or 40 centimeters. And this model has a lot of metal in it, so let's see how much it weighs. And on the Cranes Etc. Weighbridge, it comes in at a hefty 7 pounds or just over 3 kilograms. <laughs> It's very nice to see a model of something different, in this case an Indian mining truck. And the maker Sunray's classic models has made a really good job of it. It's well made with pleasing details and functionality. And it's very impressive in 1 to 24 scale. Overall it's very good. 